What do you think about when you think about God? Which words come to mind? All of us, I'm sure, have some view of God. Perhaps you think he's non-existent, or distant, or everywhere, or loving, or angry, or fluffy, or faithful. Most people, if they think about it, think something about God. And lots of us think different things about him. In the Bible, the angel Gabriel made his visit to Nazareth to speak to a young girl called Mary. And so this meeting is a combination of the natural and the supernatural. The interweaving of the very ordinary and the clearly extraordinary. A girl is going to have a baby. That's ordinary news. The baby will be conceived by God himself. That's extraordinary news. The announcement is made by an angel sent from heaven. That's supernatural. But Mary responds in a natural way. I need to go and talk to someone about this. So she goes to visit a relative, Elizabeth. God could have found a rich, noble, powerful queen who lived in a palace, but he chose not to. He comes instead to a young girl who has no apparent significance whatsoever. As Mary says, God has been mindful of her. You and I may be very little in the eyes of the world, but we are invaluable in the eyes of the one who made the world. I am now subject to King Charles III, but I doubt I will ever get a phone call or a visit from him. He doesn't know my name. His greatness is revealed by how isolated he is from me. But God's greatness is revealed in his intimacy with me. He does know my name and he does know yours. He knows about and cares about the responsibilities that weigh heavy on your shoulders, the quiet disappointments that gnaw at you and the concerns that keep you awake at night. He knows about your hopes and aspirations and the moments that make your heart sing. The Creator is mindful of you and that gives you value. Whatever the world sees when it looks at you and however you are treated by those around you, He is mindful. So what is your picture of God? Maybe you have a God you don't believe in because you don't like him. If you don't believe in a God because he is distant, uncaring and unhelpful, I understand because I don't believe in that God either. Here is the God of Christmas, of history. He is a God who knows you and cares about you and he acts to help you. This God is the mindful God. Thank you.